and we have been working for quite some time to put this presentation together. So we hope you enjoy it tonight. As you can see, there are no microphones on the stage. For the very first time, we are going to do a completely live performance. So we've been working on projection, we've been working on volume, and teaching the kids how to use those skills. So if you have a small child or someone who might make a little bit of noise during the program, we'd ask that you would stand kind of near an exit, so if you need to take them out, you can do so. <coughs> we would like to welcome you by having starting with prayer. And this is Maxine, and she's going to open with prayer for us. Will you pray with us? Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for having everyone here today. And, and I hope that everyone can remember their lines. And that and thank you for these talented kids. Amen. Amen.
only thing we won't tell you is where this island is located. Because there's still be a little treasure not yet left in. It all started back in the 1700 something, when Jim Hawkins was just a lad. He was working with his parents in called the Ad Benzo. One night, when a man dressed in dirty clothes with a dagger cut on his face, he had been dragging a large wooden chest behind him. Is it still buried? 
as dogs are dragged, no man, woman, nor beast has ever found the treasure of Captain Flynn. And if they have, none have lived long enough to spend it. Wow, Captain Bones has been everywhere, and he's done lots of things. I wonder if he's done anything bad. How dare you even ask such a question? I can think what I want, Molly. I'm a free man. No, you're not. You are just a little boy. I am not. Besides, you're just a scullery maid. A what? A scullery maid. Well, if I'm a scullery maid, you're a critic. Can't you two ever quit arguing? Arguing? Sometimes I wish I could just get away from you guys and run away. And go where? I don't know. Somewhere far from here. <laughs> I need 
up on this ship. Jamie, where are your manners? I'm in our command heart. Find some food through that door. Just ask the cook. His name is Long John Silver. Good luck. Here he is now. Long John Silver, I'd like to introduce you to our cabin members. This is Molly, Jamie, and Jim Hawkins. Not the Jim Hawkins. The one who got this voice started? Why, I thought you were, well, I don't mean to offend you, but a lot older. By the looks of you, I guess you to be about 16. I'm only 13. Well, Jim, it's nice to meet you in the face, no matter how old you be. Captain Small and I was just looking for you. What do you need, Long John? I was just going to tell you that the teenagers are bored and stowed. Great, we're about ready to see. When do we eat? I'm starving. Well, Jamie, Miss will be ready for a couple of hours. But if you need a little sipping to work off some of your things, then there'd be three large barrels filled with apples down in the alley. Apples? Why apples? I was once a cook on a ship where we had no fruit. Halfway through the voyage, all the crew got sick. So sick, you thought everyone was going to die. It sounds awful. Let me tell you, it was awful. It wasn't until a doctor informed us we all had scurvy. What did the doctor tell you to do? He told us to eat lots of fruit. And since that point, I've always made sure there's plenty of apples to eat. Why apples? Why not bananas? Ever heard the saying, ever heard the saying of apple a day keeps the doctor away? Well, I'm going to tell you from my experience, it's true.
can many a man become a raving maniac after being on sea for just a few days. I don't think that's going to happen on this voyage. Besides, no one knows the reason for this voyage. Pirates might not know where we're headed or why, but they do know something. I bet my last kid would already know where we're headed.
only captain he had. That's the whole idea. We put the captain in the brig and we'll choose a new captain. And that person will be me. There's only one problem. And what's that? How are we going to do the math from the kid? That I haven't thought of. But don't worry, I'll think of it soon. Now, let's get back up on deck to start talking to the others about the mutiny. Alan, what are you doing?
treasure. We need to borrow something from you. What do you need? Flynn's map. What happens if I don't give you? We'll take it from you. That's the case. Here it is. Jim, it's time to get the treasure.
heat it up. Open it. It's not there. What's not there? The treasure. It's gone. Let me see. <laughs> what are you laughing about? You? You are just all over this island. And what we find? Those you put shells into a wooden chest. Hey, Alondra. The kid's right. Where is the treasure? Yeah, where did you hide it? The only treasure I know is buried right here.
um, these students are no longer going to be my students next year because they'll all be in band and orchestra. And I have had many of them since kindergarten, and I've taught them for a long, long time. And it's been a lot of fun for us. So this is our last program here at the elementary that they will get to do. They'll get to do concerts next year and have a lot of fun with that. So from my perspective, it's kind of sad for me because I have to say goodbye to all of them. And um, as you can tell, we have a lot of fun together doing all this music. So I want to thank you all. And I want to thank our accompanist, Ms. Kay. Ha, 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 ha. 